hell. Oh my God. I just got a knock on my door and <sighs> there was a package left at my door. Not a package. It was a huge box. <sighs> I have been waiting for this box patiently, trying to be patient. And I am so stoked right now. I got an email from a wonderful Yarnaby uh, named Chris. She, uh, oh God, I just want to cry. <laughs> um, she contacted me and she said, Hey, Sandy, do you want me to go shopping for you? And I was like, yeah, because she's in the States. And do you know what we agreed on that she was going to shop for me for? For me? For, anyways, <laughs> I sent her the money. She went shopping. She went check things out. I had some questions um, pertaining to like softness and, and this and that. Um, <sighs> yes. It is the Ogo Colorama Halo Yarn. Eek! <laughs> um, Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2. I, girl, <laughs> she put out a video about this yarn and I flipped my lid. Because if you've been around me for any length of time, you know that latte cakes are, I don't even have one right here. Uh, latte cakes are my, one of my all time favorite yarns. And I've been using it since they came out. And I just found out from Heather the Crochet Witch that the white yarn, the white latte cakes are probably going to be a staple in Michael's. <gasps> Oh, Michaels has been screwing up so badly over the years. This is starting to make up for it. I can't wait till that comes in. But Nancy put out this video of these Ogos and I just lost my mind. Absolutely lost my mind. So, and then I put out a video or uh, messages about it on my social medias. And I says, oh, look at this. It's, it's like latte cakes. And then I got um, a couple of messages about it saying it's not so not, it's not as soft and it's a knockoff and um, you know, just beware, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, okay, Chris, I need you to go to the Joann's and feel this yarn and tell me your honest opinion. She got back to me and she said, Sandy, this is really nice. No, it does not feel exactly like the latte, but it's a close second and it's nice. <clears throat> and then Crystal from Bag of Day put out a video saying it's not latte, but it's nice. <laughs> and I went, okay, let's do this. So Chris went out and she she sent me a list of the colors because in Canada, when we go on the Joanne site, it, it's not there. They will not ship this to Canada. So there is no color palette. There's no nothing, no information about it. So Chris sent me a, uh, a color palette. I want every single one of them but I couldn't afford it. <laughs> so I got as many as I could afford at the time. Because, uh, I mean, shipping alone cost me almost $80. Ugh. So anyway, she sent me the box and I just got, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I haven't touched them yet. Here's the box. <laughs> um. I opened it. I peeked inside. I haven't touched it. I just, my fingers are tingling. She sent me a card. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's cute. Hi, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> Apparently she was, and she uh, she watched my video, and she wanted to help me out. Oh, wow. Uh, I think it's okay to read this. Uh, she says, Sandy, I hope you enjoy your new yarn. I hope they meet your expectations. I was happy to do this for you. There are a few little extras I put into one of one of the purple ogos came undone while packing it up, and I could not figure out how to join the tubes together. <laughs> so I put a safety pin in them to attach them. I'm sorry. Um, need anything again? Let me know. Enjoy your friend Chris. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, you know what? I'm going to cake them up anyways. It's all good. <laughs> oh, okay. She, she put them in a green garbage bag, which is perfect. Um, cause you just never know with shipping, right? Okay. This is the little bag that she sent me. Oh, what's the, what's this? No way. Are you kidding me? Oh, you guys. Oh, there's a note. Just some little extras. The tiny mini Hank is 100% cotton. You guys. I, oh, God, that's soft. Look at that. OMG, is that not gorgeous? That is everything, Sandy. That, oh, I love those colors and they're so soft. It's so soft. Oh, that's gorgeous. But you guys, I saw this and I, I, <sighs> crochet in agreement. She does her own yarn and she also does yarn for channels, like specific yarns um, for channels. And oh, I've been looking at them for a while. I even contacted her and um, yeah. I can't remember what channel this is for, or if this is for a channel. Maybe not. Um, it's called Atonement. And it's a four weight. Uh, there's 100 grams, 180 yards, and it's 100% cotton. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It is so soft, you guys. Oh, wow. That is really soft. I'm going to leave her channel down below. Go to her shop and check out her yarns. Because I had contacted her and I said, hey, I'm allergic to wool and alpaca and all that. Do you make it in cotton? Do you make it in acrylic? Yes, yes, and yes. Um, so I actually thought about um, getting her to make me yarn for my channel. Um, maybe called Yarn of Bees or something like that. Um, I still have to talk to her about that. But her yarn sells really good crazily like everybody wants her yarn so for me to be able to have one and hold it and have it in my yarn stash is amazing thank you so so much um this really means a lot thank you so much oh i can't wait to do something with that um and then she sent 
Red Heart Soft. And I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever used this. It's my colors. Oh, wow. That is soft. That is really soft. Oh, I just love that color. It's coming out a little bright. It's, it's more of a deeper color, like a deep... Yes, I live by a fairy. <laughs> um, it's a deeper, deeper color than this. It's beautiful. She sent me two of them. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's, that's great already. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> Here is one of the, um, one of the Ogos. She put a note on it. This this came apart when trying to package it. There is a safety pin holding it together. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not bothered by that at all. At all. Oh. Oh. You guys. It's not latte, but my God. It's soft oh it is soft okay <clears throat> Karen Colorama Halo by Ogo um this I just love this now if you happen to have seen Vago Day's um, video she was talking about the color transition it's flawless um, so, I mean, you can see this is where the color starts to change and then it changes again and then it changes again. You can barely see that color fade. Isn't that amazing? Um, I, I love ombre yarns. But to find a good ombre is hard to find. And this, I pray that they don't get rid of this. <clears throat> because, I mean, it's, oh. <laughs> I'm just in love. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, I guess I should tell you that. What, hello, Sandy. Stop fondling your yarn and start talking about the yarn. Uh, this is called Lavender Frost. And, okay, I'm going to have, oh, there. They've got two ball bands here with different stuff on it. Okay, it's Bulky 5. Um, I don't really agree with that. It's more like a 4. But if you're counting in the halo on it, then maybe. 71% uh, acrylics. 18% uh, nylon, 11% polyester. Oh, gives me, that's why it's got such softness to it. There's 481 yards, 440 meters. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, so I got one, two, Three. I think I just got three of each. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something right now. The difference between this one and this one, when you have it, and this is, this is food for thought when you're actually getting this or touching it. I touched this one and it doesn't feel as soft. This one because I think it's because it's wound up quite tightly. As soon as it relaxed, oh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> as soon as it relaxed, it became really soft. So, oops. <laughs> so, yeah, just be, you know, mindful of that when you touch this. It's not going to feel like that when you, op when you open it. 
it's going to be um, quite, quite soft. It's just because it's wound so tightly uh, that it feels like this, right? Just food for thought. Okay, so I got that one. Oh, God, I got goosebumps. Oh, 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 you guys, look at this color. Oh, look at this. I'm trying to get the ball, move the ball band so you can see the transition in color, but maybe once I cake it all up, um, I'll show it to you better. But look at that. That is uh, gorgeous. It's it's not too green and it's not too, you know how some greens have a yellow in them? Um, it's, oh God, it's so pretty. <sighs> okay, uh, this color is Rosemary Frost. Oh, oh my goodness. So I've got three, three of those. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. All right, then I got, oh, oh, Angela. I'm telling you, it's going to be a little hard for me to let go of some of this. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Um, I promised Angela that I was going to send her some and then Nancy told her that she wants to send her some so she's going to have a nice stock of them. I'm going to have to ask Nancy which one she's going to send her. This is Cranberry Frost. Look at that. Oh, I'm not a huge pink person, but this, it's pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, so I got three of those. Oops. Ah, we're falling over. Oh, and the fact that they don't have that big box on it anymore, they stack up really nicely. So when you're storing them, you can either put them this way or you can put them this way and they're going to stack up real nice. So you don't have all that boxiness. I'm so glad that they listened to their customers and got rid of that box. <clears throat> okay. This one is the one I was excited about. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, even if you're not a brown person, <clears throat> if you don't like brown very much, this you can't tell me that, that this isn't pretty this reminds me of a latte like not latte cake i mean latte the drink like oh does that not look coffee like to you like oh this one is called nutmeg frost isn't that beautiful oh this is so beautiful if they can make latte cakes in these colors, oh, like, wow, heaven. So I got three of these. <clears throat> now I'm assuming that now that Crystal from Bag of Day has put out her video, these are all going to sell so fast if they haven't already. They're going to be hard to get a hold of, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now. This one is very similar to this one, but you can see the color difference here. And this one is called Vanilla Frost. I just love the transition, the color transition. Um, and these two would go perfect together. 
because I mean, if you look at this color, like if you took these apart and then you put this beige and then this darker beige and then this color and then this color in a blanket or in a wearable, how amazing would that look? You see that transition? Oh, so pretty, right? Because that right there is a graduation of color. Like, oh, it's so gorgeous. I have to make sure that I separate these two because I don't want to, if I'm making a project and I grab one and then the other and it's not, you know, mix them up or whatever. But, oh, and I got three of these. And this is the other one that I guess came undone. But, oh, so that is, look at this stack. <laughs> so this is what I've got to start. I really want the other colors. Um, but I have to wait and see if there's going to be any left. I have to wait until, I've got, I've got other things that I need to get right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm still getting my stock, my supplies together for making jewelry and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's like, which one do I get? Uh, but this is a great start and I'm just absolutely in love with these. Absolutely in love. I may have to just sit and fondle for a while. But like I said, when you feel this, if you're in the store and you feel this and you kind of go, it's not as soft as I thought it was going to be. Trust me, when this thing is unraveled and it has time to breathe, so to speak, um, it softens up a lot. So thank you so, so, so much, Chris. I mean, I... I have the best Yarny community in the world. You guys are the bomb. Um, you guys do so much for me. And the, the fact that, that you guys just contact me and say, hey, you know, if you want some, let me know and I'll go shopping for you. I mean, that just, that just shows me how big of heart you guys are. And it restores my faith in humanity. <laughs> like, like seriously, like we've got the greatest community. And um, I've met so many people, so many of you, not met personally, but you know, I mean, I've made so many friends and I, I adore you guys. I really do. You guys mean the world to me. Without you, I would be a heaping mess crumpled on the floor needing medication um you know you guys keep me sane you keep me going um and you keep me laughing you do i mean some of your comments just i oh <laughs> i love it i love it when you guys comment and i read every single one of the comments uh i may not reply back but i will heart them all and um I just love hearing from you guys. I love hearing from you guys in my Facebook group. I love seeing pictures of what you guys are doing. Hey, if you guys have got these and you've made something, put your picture in my Facebook group. OMG, I want to see what you guys are making. I want your opinion on what you think of this yarn um, because I already love it. Uh, so yeah, that would be great. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I love you all. Thank you, Chris. I love you. Mwah. And um, hope you have an O-Go day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was corny. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.